It began as a friendly little competition. We're going to stomp that little sand flea airline run by those two stupid brothers that must have been separated at the brain at birth since neither one of them has a full deck. I think Lowell's probably the smartest guy on the show myself and the best leader. Then the stakes got higher. All right, this uh, bowl of ram is only a few weeks away, so if we're going to beat these guys over at Southwest, we better come up with a plan. Mm, well, here's a plan. <clears throat> Let's learn how to bowl. <laughs> that would be high on my list. <laughs> you know, I, I once had a perfect game. You're kidding. No, um, I got my sleeve caught in the ball return, and three really cute guys came over. <laughs> hey, you got your way of scoring, I got mine. <laughs> hey, guys, I think the answer to our problems just walk through that door. A man in a top windbreaker. Her prayers have been answered. That's not just a man. That happens to be Dick Weber. I mean, he's possibly the most successful bowler in the history of bowling. I mean, he's the Joe DiMaggio of bowlers. Ex you know, except that he uses a big black ball instead of a little teeny white one. And, you know, he throws it at ten little pieces of wood instead of hitting it with one big piece of wood. And, you know, as far as I know, he was never married to Marilyn Monroe. But he's still a heck of a boy. Hi, I'm uh, Dick Weber. I'm here on the, uh, for the 2 o'clock uh, plane to Boston. I'm here to check in. Uh, Mr. Weber, um, my friends and I are, are bowling in a charity event for Angel Flight, and I was wondering if maybe you could give us a few tips. Well, you know, I'm, I've only got a few minutes. Uh... Well, well, speaking for my brother and myself, or the pilots, uh, you might be experiencing a slight delay. About how long are we talking about? About as long as it would take for you to teach us to bowl. <laughs> well, I, I know it is for a good cause. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to. Thank oh, that's you. Great. Thank you so much, thanks Weber. So much. Noble name, Weber. All right, Chris, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to make sure that your thumb fingers are placed in there and you're very comfortable with the ball by right. placing your elbows on your hip line, okay. okay? Make sure you're comfortable. Very. And the height of the ball is very important, too. Are you comfortable up here, down here, lower? All right? Okay. That's the first thing. And then as you start out, you're going to push out with your right foot. And you're on your way, and you're going to get a strike every time. Okay, one more. Here we go. All right, Lo, I'll tell you one thing about bowling. You always want to make sure that when you push the ball out in a straight parallel line, you always want to keep that arm swing close to the body and in a straight line. It's like a pendulum on a clock. All right? Okay. All right. It's like that. Okay. And you'll get a strike every time, guaranteed. If you hit your mark, that is. All right. You're not worried about that, are you? I uh, know. No, I'm not. I didn't think so. All right. Man, this, is, your this is a big, heavy ball. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right. Make sure you put your middle finger, ring finger in there. Get comfortable. All right. Remember to keep that straight arm swing. Okay. Okay? <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. You're on your go. <laughs> No, you gotta close your mouth. I've just herniated myself. <laughs> Meanwhile, the competition, too, was preparing. trained very hard, and the Wings cast won. But the real winners were those who depend on the free flights provided by Angel Flight. Angel Flight, a volunteer organization of pilots who fly patients to distant medical centers for treatment that would otherwise be difficult for those patients to receive. AMF, with the help of the Wings cast, Southwest Airlines, and the great Dick Weber, 
is proud to have been able to help Angel Flight continue their great endeavor. And now, a brief replay of Dick Weber demonstrating his famous skills at one of New York City's not-so-famous bowling centers. David Letterman was up to his old tricks last night. Once again, New York had to make way for late show shenanigans. Ladies and gentlemen, do me a favor now. Please say hello to a bowling legend out on 53rd Street, Dick Weber. Dick, nice to have you with us here tonight. Thank you, Dave. Thank you very much. Nice being with you. Thank you. Good. All right. Hello, Dick. <laughs> yeah. Dick, are you ready to go? All right, good luck to you. Here you go. Okay, and, uh, Dick Weber go. bowling on 53rd Street, ladies and gentlemen. There, oh, it's a beautiful ball. There it goes. <laughs> what do you think? Try and pick it up? Yeah. Dick, which one did pick you leave the standing? The seven pin. You want to go for it? Okay, let's go for it. Dick, if you hit that, I'll come out there and give you a big kiss on the forehead. <laughs> here we go, one more time. Okay, here let's we go. see how he does. Dick and Dave entertain their audience with one spectacular bowling feat. It's a beautiful ball. He throws it. After another. Here we go. Here we go. What are we shooting at now? We're shooting a video camera. Oh, it's now. a video camera. Oh, this will be very exciting. All right, let's yeah, take a look. Well, if I hit it. Dick Weber on the lanes. Very, very difficult shot. We have time now to go back out to 53rd Street with uh, PBA Hall of Fame bowler, Dick Weber. Dick, what are you shooting at now here? What's... Dave, uh, we've got some uh, champagne glasses set up out here with champagne in it, so we're gonna try to knock them down here. All right, you've, uh, Dick, by the way, thanks for everything. You've done a great job for us tonight. Thank you very much, Good Dick. luck to you, sir. It's, here it's, we go, and time. <clears throat> I think it's safe to say he's a bowling fool, a yeah. bowling maniac. <laughs> if you're really serious about becoming a better bowler, be sure to ask your pro shop about some great new ways to improve your game. A great new video, Dick Weber's Guide to Better Bowling, filled with expert advice that'll help you perfect your technique and develop better shot-making strategies. Here's a sample. Of all the steps you can take to become a better bowler, none are more important than the four or five steps you take on the approach to the foul line. Let's look first at the four-step approach. The four-step approach is favored by many recreational and league bowlers, as well as some pros. If this is the approach you find most comfortable, practice it over and over until it feels completely natural. Also, ask your pro shop about two great new bowling balls designed specifically for league bowlers, the Dick Weber Legacy and the Dick Weber Legacy Reactive from AMF. The advanced technology of these bowling balls, adapted from the designs used by the pros, will help make you a better bowler. The Dick Weber Guide to Better Bowling video and the Dick Weber Legacy and Legacy Reactive bowling balls, available at your pro shop. 